Well, welcome back to the East Front System. Barbarossa, AGS, 1941, blah, 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 by Vance Bar Von Boris. And welcome back to the big board. Glad to have you back. Going to do a quick recap on uh, turn four, the first three quarters of turn four. And my live gameplay, which you have probably potentially already seen, is what we're going to be recapping. <clears throat> I wanted to do this in a recorded manner like this, just so that I can go over some of the errors that we made and some of the revelations that I've had about some of the gameplay to date and what that might mean for us moving forward. So the first, first things first, uh, the you know, supply situation continues to be difficult in that we're, we're not currently able to bring all the available supply onto the map because we haven't been able to use all the supply that's, that is on the map already, thus freeing up the little, uh, little counters like this to rail or bring on supply. And even when you do uh, have enough, so in fact this turn I had enough, I had uh, five of these dump counters available, I could bring my 10 ASP on, I only have six rail capacity, so I can't bring them onto the map. Uh, they're gonna have to be lost. So it's an interesting conundrum, and, and I don't know why that's set up that way. It It's awkward and inefficient and somewhat ineffective, and it's also really freaking annoying. That said, we managed to put most of the things in supply that we needed to for this turn. Uh, we, we forgot some DRMs on some attacks here and there. And, uh, it, you know, it, doing this live, this is it's a very, very difficult game to do live because there's a lot of small moving paths to keep track of. And uh, we didn't do a particularly good job of that. So I'll say that at the outset. Now, the interesting thing that comes out of all that, though, is because of the way the CRT is structured, the, the, usually I would say it doesn't matter if you miss a DRM, a one or two DRMs, you know, moving up and down a given uh, column on a CRT. But with this particular CRT, I'm just going to try and hold this up here and see if I can show you some things here without making too much mess. Let me come around to the camera. Okay. I'm knocking stuff over behind me, but I think that's going to be okay. Now... Here, if let's just focus in on some of the wacky stuff happens in the four to one, five to one column. So, for instance, if I roll a zero or a one, uh, we can, you know, obviously at four to one, we're doing well, low numbers are good. Uh, but at a two, I will take an armor loss if uh, certain conditions are made uh, uh, or occur. But then as we go down here, we get to five and the attacker loses one step defender loses two if i get a six now the uh, attacker loses one step defender loses nothing the attacker retreats attacker retreats defender loses one get over one column and then going up and down here uh i can lose one uh, and, and make and possibly an armor uh, and inflict two i can take no losses and then inflict one on them one each no losses a retreat it's kind of all over the place, and uh, you know, it, there's a maximum of plus, plus or minus uh, three on the DRMs, but it really does make a difference. And we noticed that. Oops, um, got my counter stuck to my fingers. We'll work out where they were in a second. Um, when we were doing the Lavov uh, combat, uh, that there was an, actually an avenue open here to get into Lavov. Otherwise, which is just a, a, a gameplay error. I, mean, I probably should have you know, left this unit here, for instance, and that would have uh, prevented the, the Germans from uh, jumping on Lvov like they did. Nevertheless, well, you know, we did come in from this direction too. So nevertheless, when we went through this combat, we were, you know, we, we calculated it as uh, Lvov was a city, and in fact, it's a major city. So we had to change the, change the odds which then also changed the, uh, whether or not there was a divisional integrity bonus or a cab uh, an armor bonus, uh, one of the two. 
And then we ended up with a plus four modifier that was occurring. And then we realized, oh, well, it's a plus three. Uh, so we ended up just going up and down and looking at several different odds and several different results. Uh, it got quite confusing uh, for a while there. So my point about all that is when you make mistakes with this game, it seems, in the CRT and the combat resolution phase, it's important because the difference between you taking a step loss as the access player and forcing a retreat or taking no loss and enforcing a retreat is a big deal. In this particular uh, last turn, we actually lost uh, two uh, steps over here, uh, one step here, and there's another step lost somewhere else and there's some infantry. So the losses were very high on the armor side of things. The four to one, five to one column of odds is not a, a good place to be uh, when you're conducting combat. And unfortunately, eventually, you're going to run out of these weak-ass uh, Soviet units to be fighting, and you're going to have to fight a guy that's got five factors in his defense, and he might be stacked with someone who's got, uh, you know, uh, some uh, anti-tank guns or something like that. So it gets it gets harder as you go along, obviously, and we barely are in four turns. So, so we, we, we learned some things about making sure you've got your ducks in a row and your supply available because that is going to hurt you. Uh, one thing we also realized was that we were doing overruns wrong in terms of the number of movement points we were allocating for the, uh, for the entry into the zone of control. And I think I was just uh, having a carryover from OCS where I wasn't counting the plus one to move into the zone of control uh, before we did the overrun. Um, I just uh, made a mistake there. So that, that means that if you were just one, uh, one, hex away, one hex away from an overrun, let's say you were sitting here, you're going to overrun this guy, it's two movement points to here, and then it's going to be two if this was clear terrain. It's going to be two to do the overrun as well. So that's a total of four movement points right there where I was saying it was one, two, three. Signific significant difference, you know, if you've only got seven movement points, that's that's going to limit the number of overruns you can do. And so I last turn, I did have a couple of turns where I got a little, uh, little stir crazy with overruns and actually made uh, multiple overruns with a stack of units that probably couldn't have happened. So problematic. More importantly, though, for the German player, these minor roads, it's very clear on the terrain effects chart, uh, on the, the revised one at least anyway, that the in-game uh, charts are horrible. But uh, this one's very clear. It says uh, these minor roads here, it's a half a movement point along those when it's clear terrain. When it's not clear terrain, then you're just paying the, the minor road cost, which is one versus the uh, terrain, the underlying terrain. That would have made this uh, this lunge up here, this movement up here, uh, all progress a lot faster. Uh, I was counting just one movement point all along here. All these units here would be in different locations and would have in fact got to those locations sooner, almost a turn sooner. And I think that that's kind of problematic. And the same the same would have occurred down in in this area here. So. Um, I'm seriously contemplating uh, resetting and uh, starting again, see if we can, can't do a better job for both sides uh, in the opening four turns. I, I am going to finish up this turn and see where the Soviets end up. Uh, we did achieve the, the capture of Lvov uh, inadvertently. We, we, we got it. Uh, probably shouldn't have fallen this turn does fall into line historically that it fell and we get the bonus VPs, which is nice, but really was an oversight on my part. Uh, one of these two units should have, should have stayed there uh, to block a very obvious move from here. Uh, I was just, I was fixated on these units not being out of supply and uh, preventing the attack coming from this direction. So anyway, that's a, a long bit of a long diatribe on, on, on the, the status at the moment. I'm gonna do the Soviet turn right now. We'll wrap up turn four 
and uh, you know take a few happy clappy uh, pictures and then we'll see whether or not I want to go through the pain of uh, setting this up again uh, with all the right units in the right spots um, which is a, a little a little bit of an egregious uh, setup exercise for for a uh, two map game at the moment so we might uh, we might try and fudge the setup a little bit we'll see if we can't uh, just get it done quickly versus getting it done 99.99% accurately. Right, talk to you soon. And thanks for tuning in, by the way. I really appreciate it.